Hello everyone, it's Robin here. How's your day going? Mine's going fabulously because I just received this little puppy in the mail. If you're not familiar with this cool package here, it's the Tokyo Kawaii Club, which is a monthly subscription from Tokyo, Japan. I am so super excited to have this in the mail. This is my second one I've received and um, I'm pretty jazzed about looking into it. Now, if you don't know what this subscription service is, it's really pretty cool. It's run by Michael. And what happens is he sends you um, goodies from the Tokyo theme parks or the Tokyo Disney store. And you get them straight in one of these cool packets here. I love this so far. Well, I've had one. This is my second one, so I guess we'll see. Let's just open it and see what's in this one. Now, I get pretty excited with this monthly subscription because it includes items from a place that I can't readily get items from. I mean, I'm not just gonna pop over to Tokyo, which wouldn't that be fun though, right? I would love to go to those Tokyo theme parks. Oh my goodness, that would be so much fun. So let's see what we have in here. Now, oh, there's my bag, but I always like to make sure that's the bag, okay. <clears throat> so we have it in one of the Tokyo Disney Resorts shopping bags. They're 35th Happiest Celebration, which we've seen on the front. And what's really cool is on the back is their Christmas bag. Now, my last one I received, I received like late in November. I think I opened it in the beginning of Vlogmas. And uh, it still had their Halloween because it does take some time to get these items from Tokyo. I think when I first started my subscription, it was probably, you know, mid, late October. And it took about three to four weeks to get to me, which is normal. He says it takes anywhere from two to six weeks. You know, it's traveling across the continents and the oceans. So yes, it's gonna take a while to get here. So I'm pretty excited though to see their Christmas offerings. Oh my gosh, look at Donald and Daisy Duck. So cute, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So let's see what we have in here. I'm just gonna pull the first thing out, which is, oh. It's Figaro. How cute is he? See, I love all Disney cats and uh, Figaro is super cute. Now Figaro comes from Pinocchio, that's where he originated, but Figaro is also Minnie Mouse's cat, which is why I think I love him so much is because of that, because Walt Disney loved the character so much that he wanted to keep him around, so he made Figaro Minnie Mouse's cat too. Look, it's a, it looks like a, is this a mouse pad or is it a heat thing? I don't think it's a mouse pad, it's not thick enough. Let's open it, let's see. How do you open this thing? I know somebody who would love this thing. Yeah, Dina, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Okay, see what happens is you get the subscription, you get all excited and all of a sudden things like opening and naming things, there we go, you know, falls through the roof, you can't do it. Or is this like a heating pad to set things on? Oh, I can't tell. It's like a cloth and um, it has like a bib-like quality to it, so it's like a terry cloth. So it could be used probably as a washcloth you could set, I think you could still set warmer items on it at your table, but it's not thick enough as a heating pad, but he's just super cute. So it has a tag on it and it just says Tokyo Disney Resort. And see, that's too fun. You get things like this and you don't really know what they are, but I think it's a washcloth. That's what it feels like here. Look at how cute Figaro is. This is kind of a cool rendering of Figaro too. He has this, uh, kind of a really nice quality to it, right? Not very cartoony, more realistic. Oh, so pretty. Well, that's cute. That's very cute. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I should have made space before I sat down. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Now, inside this bag is another bag, and I think that's it for that bag. So this bag is just a smaller version of that bag, same bag, and it's from, it says Tokyo Disney Resort, and there's the Christmas items on the back. <clears throat> now, when you first sign up for this subscription, Michael, he sent me an email and um, asked me what all my favorites were. So it, it's, you can tell him what your favorite characters are and he does his best to try to include them. So that was really nice too. I'm feeling something plushy and I'm totally gonna pull it out first because plush is very exciting. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's Nana Foofy. How cute are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, he doesn't have, 
he doesn't smell like anything. A lot of the Afufis will smell like something, <clears throat> but he doesn't, and he doesn't have a scent um, tag on him that says he does. Oh my gosh, you are so super cute. Now, I'm trying to figure out which, do which dwarf he is. He's not, I would think he's dopey because he doesn't have a beard, but I'm being thrown by the color of his hat. <laughs> but let me give you a closer look. Now, I love the seven dwarfs, and uh, I think I must have written that on my sheet for sure because I do love them so much, and these Ufufis are so cute. This is definitely Dopey because Dopey doesn't have a beard. Dopey wears green. I was just being thrown by the pink hat, I think. Now, I do have a couple of Ufufis that are seven dwarfs that I actually got from here. Um, here, I'll pull this one. So look, I have Sleepy, who's my favorite dwarf, and he smells like apple blossoms, but this one doesn't have a scent pocket. And I don't think he does, but look, aren't they cute together? Such a cute pair. <laughs> so yeah, he'll be a nice addition to my dwarfs. So now I have, I have three dwarfs, so this is my fourth one. So awesome. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. I don't know what it is about little plushes, but they are super adorable. So there's lots of little things in this bag and I'm just gonna keep pulling things out. Feel something dangly. Oh, it's a keychain, of course. And you know, it's fun because you get these things from Tokyo, and part of it you have to like, what is this? So obviously, this is a keychain. It's Minnie Mouse, and she is in probably from Tomorrowland, like an astronaut suit. And this is rubber. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel eraser like, it's just rubber, but it's Saturn or some planet. So I adore Minnie Mouse. I think she's super cute. Um, <laughs> this keychain's funny. I think they have just the cutest things in, in Japan. I seriously do. That's probably why it's called the Tokyo Kawaii Club. I think kawaii does not mean cute. <laughs> but there you go. So this is a fun little keychain, right? Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, lots of little things in here. Oh no, you know, I love the stationery that gets sent. And, I'm wondering if these are, I think these are post-its and it is Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. I'm gonna open it to give you a better look and to give me a better look too. I use, a, I hope they're sticky notes. I think they are, they look like it. I use a ton of sticky notes. Oh yeah, they're sticky notes for sure. I use a ton of sticky notes and uh, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, oh, super cute, right? Take a closer look. Look how cute this is, oh my gosh. These will get a lot of traction. A lot of traction indeed. So super cute. Any kind of stationary items I'm really good with for sure. Is there, I think there's, oh there's two more things in here. There's a button. It's the aliens! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's so cute. They've got their holiday candy cane and some candies around them. So this is funny because, <laughs> let me give you a closer look at the alien first. See, I know somebody who would like this too. Actually, I know two people. And uh, Kate and Beth, I'm talking about you both. <laughs> so super funny. So I love um, Pixar films and I do love the aliens for sure. I definitely do. Toy Story is one of my favorites, but I also love Monsters University. Anyway, when I got my first bag last month, um, I got a, um, a fan and I was so excited about my bag and my fan and I know some of you if you've seen it you all know what I'm talking about that I pulled out my fan and I started raving about how awesome it was that I got this Mike Wazowski fan well it was the alien it wasn't Mike Wazowski here I have the fan over here oh there it is okay here's my fan see I keep this stuff right next to me so <laughs> I just thought it was funny because a lot of you commented to let me know, um, I think that's the alien. Well, of course it was the alien, but again, I was so excited. I was like hyperventilating inside with excitement. I'm going to show you this fan because this just, this popped up and just reminded me of it. So I just saw the color, right? And I thought Mike Wazowski. Now, there are three very good clues here that that's not Mike Wazowski. Number one, there are three eyes. Mike Wazowski has one eye. That's what he's known for. Secondly, there is a Pizza Planet emblem right there. But, um, but the third clue, which really makes me laugh when I look back on that, it says alien right here. Let me give you a closer look. So this is now known as my Mike Wazowski alien fan. 
You get it, right? Oh my gosh, seriously. That should have been my big clue, right? <laughs> So anyway, so it does, it gets fun and exciting opening these packs, but I love that he includes these buttons. I think last time I got a Chip and Dale button, I love Chip and Dale too, but this alien button is super, super cute. So that's really fun. What else is in here? It's a tin. Hear that? Tins are exciting because tins hold things. Sometimes there's something yummy to taste. And there's a note too. Let me put that over there. And he wrote a note on, it says, thank you, Michael, on the Winnie the Pooh post-it. So that's super cute. But my tin, oh, it's Ariel. I love the Little Mermaid. And again, I added that into, you know, my likes. I love the Little Mermaid. There's Flounder and Sebastian. This tin is really pretty. Um, it's got a ribbon there. I like these tins because in a minute we're going to find out what's inside. But when it's all empty, you can use these tins for other things at your desk. And again, I love stationary items and things like that. And I always need things to hold things in. Do you, are you like that? I always need things to hold things. <laughs> I think I just said that. Take a closer look. Look at how beautiful Ariel is in here. Oh my gosh, she's just dreaming away of when she can dance with her. What are they called again? Oh yes, feet. <laughs> Ariel is probably my favorite princess. Um, I like all, you know, I like so many of the princesses. I like Ariel. I love Cinderella. Um, I love Belle. Uh, Jasmine. I just love, I think, I think I have a love for pretty much all of them. If you start thinking of different traits and you're like, oh yeah, I like that one. But Ariel I love because she um, is a mermaid and a person. I just think it's fun. I like the music of the Little Mermaid. I'm going to try to open this while I'm doing this all taped up. Um, the music's really fun. And uh, it's very, okay, I'm gonna have to use my scissors. Here we go. So how interesting is this? So be careful, I don't wanna scratch the tin. Did that do it? It did, so what's inside? <gasps> Wrapped candies, look at these. I think they're candies. I mean, you really don't know, right? Look at these, I'm gonna show you these close up. Look how fun that is, right? Look at these little candies. Well, we're going to open one and find out if they are candy. I'm pretty sure. What else would they be? <laughs> so let's see what one is. Does it say anything? It says Tokyo Disney Sea. So they're from Tokyo Disney Sea. So that's pretty awesome, right? Well, of course, it's Ariel. It says that on the back of here, too Tokyo Disney Sea. Sweet. That's really cool. So um, look, I'm eating some Japanese candy. That's awesome. Whoa, what is that? Ooh, it's pretty. Look, it's blue. Just a hard candy. What's it taste like? What if I don't know? Oh, what is that flavor? Mmm, well, that's good. It has that fruity tang to it. Might take me all day to figure that one out. It's delicious. Do you like this? It is delicious. Um, I wish I knew what that was. That's not helping me much now, is it? <laughs> oh wait, what does that say? Nope, still not helping. It has kind of a, I wanna say pineapple thing going on, but I don't think it is. But it's tangy and tart like that. Obviously it's very sweet. And I don't like overly sweet things, but um, this is okay. It's not overly sweet because there's a lot of tang to it. I like the tang part of it. It's hard because you know the flavor, but you can't place it. So that's really fun. I will figure it out and uh, at some point and someday we'll uh, let you know too. <laughs> but these are super cute. So um, I really enjoy this subscription. Again, I get items from Tokyo the Tokyo parks and the Tokyo store and uh, there are items that I can't just readily get. So it's kind of fun seeing the package come and you know, Michael does a good job in uh, curating it for you for what your likes are. So that's a lot of fun. Now I will leave information down below for you if you want to check out the Tokyo Kawaii Club. Um, I know I have another mailer on the way. I think it was just sent like two days ago. So you'll probably see that the end of January. 
because <laughs> it does seem to take a while to get here. But you know, once they start coming, then it's like they're, they're there. There they have it. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. I know what this tastes like. It's bazooka bubble gum. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. I like bazooka bubble gum too. Only you can't blow bubbles with this because it's hard candy. It is, it's bubble gum. I don't got pineapple out of that, I don't know. Thank goodness I'm not on a food network, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you again, bye-bye.